So we have a beautiful Prada carrier bag. I'm choking on that. It's actually on my tongue. Good morning, my lovely people. Welcome back to the vlog. How are we all? I hope we're all very well. I haven't vlogged in a little while. I've just not been feeling myself, guys. And I feel like in this video, I'm probably not gonna be the most upbeat, chirpy version of myself. But today I felt like vlogging. So the vlog camera is on and I wanna say hi to you all. I've actually just been to the hairdresser, so I'm feeling a little bit more like myself. I think I mentioned in another vlog, did I tell you guys? I think I did, that I was trying to put off having my hair done until the end of April. I haven't had it done since the beginning of December, but I wanted fresh hair for my 30th. However, my roots had got so bad and it was just not making me feel good. So today I got my hair done. Harriet did it as always, and I'm so happy with it. She always does such a good job. I've also had a couple of tape extensions put in the side. I've actually had extensions the last, I think three times I've had my hair done. And extensions are a real first for me. Never ever had them before but it really helps for thickness. I mean, my hair has got really long. In fact, we used, um, I think it was the Beauty Works 18 inch tapes and she didn't have to cut them. So my hair is 18 inches at the moment. I've been trying to grow it a lot, but something I find is around my face, my hair becomes really thin. I think it's just because I overstyle it at the front. So she's been putting in these tapes and it's been making such a difference. Like I love them. Anyway, that's what I've done this morning. And you might also be thinking that my eyebrows are a little bit dark guys i had them microbladed we are i think day two after the microblading i was not prepared for how dark they were going to be in a minute i'll pick up the camera when i stop driving and show you them up close but they look so good they're like individual hair strokes so i've had a busy week of lots of treatments just to make myself feel a little bit better and look a bit better babes you can get a bus through there move over i also had a massage actually yesterday at harrods because my friends bought me it for my birthday last year and it was about to run out because i haven't used it in a whole year so I had that last night. So I've really been living the dream this last week, but I felt like I needed it physically and mentally. And all those things have made me feel a little bit better. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I'm off to right now. And I'm driving to Westfields because I've actually got some stuff I need to take back to Zara. I'm always doing a few returns, you know me. And this week, Sephora opened in Westfields, which is big, big news. Any of my subscribers that live anywhere other than the UK, you've probably had Sephora for years. I know in America, there's a Sephora on pretty much every corner. However, in the UK, we've never had a Sephora before. So this is a really big deal. So whilst I'm in Westfields taking some things back, I thought I need to go into Sephora and stock up on some new makeup. I mean, we've gone for a whole new look, new brows, new hair. Now I need new makeup. Anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging until we get there because my mouth is so dry. I've not drank or eaten anything. Actually, that's all I had a cup of tea at the hairdressers. But other than that, I haven't drank anything. I'm so thirsty and I always feel like my vlog camera is gonna die. So the first place we're gonna go in Westfield is food. I feel like we're probably gonna get a during the juice. I'm in Westfield. You might be able to see my eyebrows in this light. Can you see them? I don't know if this is gonna be a very good angle, to be honest, but can you see how they look like real hairs? Can you see that? I'm unsure if you can see that. It's actually quite busy in here today, but I just thought to myself, do they actually have a Joe in the Juice in this particular Westfield? Oh my God, my camera is so dirty. That's better. Uh, yes, please. Just a little bit. Yes, please. Yeah, all of it, yeah. I couldn't find a Joe in the Juice fast enough, so I went to Tortilla and got a naked burrito with vegan chili. I used to get this all the time on delivery, but they stopped doing it where I live. Mm. Okay, I've nipped into Zara. Look at this sparkly suit. <laughs> this is crazy. Such a nice color though. I've seen everyone wearing these kind of like washed out bombers. I like it, but I don't love it. Next stop is Mango. How cute is this tweed jacket? Love that. And this top as well with these beads on it. And then this top matches this cardigan. It could look kind of nice together, pair of jeans. I mean, this bralette, wow. I've been in Mango. I actually got some stuff. However, I was about to go in Sephora. Guys, the queue is the length of Westfields. I'll show you in a minute, it's ridiculous. I'm now in Primark because I need some new bed sheets. I sent it my friend Harriet's the other day and she had some really nice bed sheets. So I'm gonna copy her. There is so much choice. How many duvet sets there are? I think I'm gonna get this one though. It's king. It comes with two pillowcases. They look very nice and it feels quite soft as well. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm in the queue for Sephora. There is even security, like what's going on. Brought out the red carpet for me as well. It is so busy in here. I already feel overwhelmed with the map. Okay, I mean, there's quite a lot of stuff, but I feel like I'm too stressed in here to even look. 
Aku dulu di time tadi kok nos Kok kok hitam Aku hebu kok hourglass Aku kok Chanel I really don't want to make it on my foundation But aku kok hitam Good morning everybody I just need to quickly pause this video I'm watching Alfie Days Because when I went on YouTube, it came up as a recommendation and he's in a video with Marcus Butler and anyone that used to watch YouTube back, like I'm talking 10 years ago, knows that Alfie, Marcus, Zoe, who else was it, Tanya Burr, is his name Chapman? Some of you are probably screaming at the screen right now, but there was a big YouTube crew back in the day and I used to watch their videos religiously. I still to this day watch Zoe's, but Alfie's came up and I watched it and it was so nostalgic seeing him and Marcus together again. And it kind of takes me back watching them to being really young. Anyway, I started this vlog about a week ago and I haven't picked up my vlog camera since. And I know I'm guilty of doing that quite often, but just recently I've been so bad at doing that. I mentioned in another video, maybe even mentioned in this video at the beginning, did I? I can't remember, that I've just been having a bit of a rubbishy time at the moment. But I started this vlog really thinking that I was going to be able to continue vlogging a week. But things just got a little bit on top of me. And I thought, you know what? Why are you pushing yourself to do something when you're going to do a half-hearted job? So just leave it and come back to it. And that's exactly what I've done. And I feel so much better than I have done the past three weeks. I just feel like something's been lifted off of my shoulders. I have been having... I think I've mentioned you before, I've been having therapy, but I've also been seeing a life coach. Her name is Rochelle, and she is amazing. I see her once a week, well, it's through a Zoom chat, but you know, like you see each other once a week. And together we really work on things that are troubling me, sometimes from the past or what's going on currently in my life now. And it helps so much. I was really skeptical about all this kind of stuff. And sometimes when I'm meditating and doing the breath work and things, it seems all a little bit like ridiculous, but it really does work. And I had the most amazing session with her this week. And I feel like it just, as I say, made everything just feel so much lighter. I need to get the foundation off my lips because this does not look cute. I can't tell you how much of a mess everything is around me right now. My dressing table is embarrassing. It's really not okay. And also I've been moving around my front living room because I have this big idea that I'm gonna make this whole new like area and I've got rid of half my sofa. I'm gonna show you it in a minute, but it's all very, very chaotic. I can't remember if I've mentioned it to you guys or not. I definitely said it in my last haul video, but I got my eyebrows microbladed. I said in my last vlog I was thinking about doing it. I had very mixed responses if I should do it or not. My mum was very, very against me getting it done, but I found this lady, I actually found her on TikTok, and her name is Heather. I travelled, well at the time I was in Kent at my parents, so I travelled all the way to Cannock, which is a four hour drive. So I drove four hours to get my eyebrows microbladed. But I wanted my eyebrows microbladed for so many years. However, I knew exactly how I wanted them. I wanted them to look super natural. I didn't want them to look blocky or anything like that. And I'd never really found anyone I felt I could trust enough to do it. And then I found Heather, as I say, on TikTok. And I was willing to do the four hour drive for her to microblade my eyebrows. And I am so glad I did. It's been over a week since I had them done. So I got them done. So today is currently Friday, by the way. I got them done. It'll be two weeks this coming Tuesday. I wasn't prepared for how dark they were going to get. So at the beginning of this video, I think my eyebrows were very dark. So if I didn't mention it, that is why they were dark because they were freshly microbladed. But what happens with microblading is after you have them done, they go really dark. Then they kind of go all scabby and peel, which isn't too cute. Then they go patchy. Apparently then the pigment comes back and then you have to go for a top up and then they should last for a good few years. I'm at the stage now where they're a tiny bit patchy. Can you see I've got a bit of a patch there? Well, it's got a slight patch in that one, but I am so happy with them. This is with no makeup on whatsoever. In real life, I don't know how they look on camera, but they're like real hair strokes. You can't see the difference between my hair and the microblading. It's so clever. Like up here, I never used to have any eyebrow hair. I don't know why, they were just really patchy. It just kind of built up the hair here, and I feel like they look so good no idea why my lip liner looks like I'm wearing coral. I mean, there's nothing wrong with coral. It's just the same lip liner I wear every day. Why does it look like this? I've been lazy today and haven't washed my hair, so I'm just using some of the best dry shampoo ever. This Live Proof one. It's so good. Okay, I'm dressed. I'm in a very just comfy, easy outfit because we're going to unpackage this massive mirror that's in my hallway. And we're going to put it in my living room. I don't know how I'm going to carry it on my own. Okay, this is how big it is. 
it's not really doing justice in how big this box is. Okay, so this is gonna be my new filming setup. Well, I always film here, but I'm gonna slightly like switch it up. I have a new vase, I'll show you properly in a minute, but this is my old mirror, which I'm gonna move back to over here. I don't wanna scratch the floor. Tried to move the big mirror. I can't do it on my own. My boyfriend's gonna be back in like five minutes and he's gonna help me. In the meantime, my new vase, I got this last night from West Elm. I think that's what it's called. I love that furniture shop. They have one in Westfields. And it kind of reminds me of like an American homeware kind of hardware shop. But this vase, it was, I think it was 36 pounds. It should have been 40, but it was reduced. And I think it looks really nice with the eucalyptus in it. And I've also bought a plinth or kind of like podium kind of thing which is in a wood effect like the top of this but it will be a little bit more of a solid structure sometimes I think when I film this can be a little bit too messy so I have bought something else a little bit better Well, seven arguments later, the mirror is out and it's smashed. I have to say the mirror itself is lovely. So nice. I ordered it yesterday, it arrived today. It was from this company here. I just found them online and it's so nice. However, we haven't done this. As we've unpackaged it, we've realized the corner of it is all smashed, which is just such a pain in the neck. Because how do I now send this back? Oh, I'm so annoyed. I think it looks lovely and it's given the aesthetic that I wanted it to give but the smashed corner is just it's just not it is it honestly I'm going through one of those times where everything is just so chaotic around me like my apartment is such a mess my brain feels like it's a mess and stuff like this is just not what I need right now good morning guys today is a new day I feel slightly less stressed about the mirror situation I took a deep breath yesterday I've had to keep all of the packaging They've said for 10 working days until they pick this up and then they're gonna replace it with a brand new one. Customer service was actually quite good, but I'm a bit annoyed about the fact that I need to store a huge amount of packaging in my tiny two bedroom flat. So it's currently in the bath. There is no water in the bath, but all of the cardboard is in the bath. We're actually just about to go out. I'm just so hot. I've just been steaming my trousers with them on me and it's made me boiling hot. I'm gonna quickly show you my outfit before we go and jump in a cab. This is my outfit of the day. Ignore all of the mess in the background. I haven't had time to kind of tidy everything up since the situation happened with this mirror. But how nice is the mirror like this? I love it, it makes the room feel so much bigger. Anyway, my jacket is actually new. It's from Ducey, I think that's how you say it. It's um, like an Instagram shop brand, well that's where I found them anyway, but it's real leather and I really love it. And underneath, I just have on a very basic top from Zara. I have on a pair of long black trousers, which are actually from Bershka, my platform Converse, and my Chanel classic mini flap. On my head, I just have my Celine sunglasses. Anyway, we're going to Central. We're gonna get some food, nip to the shops, and just have a little day out. Today is currently Saturday, by the way. We have just got in Central and it is such a sunny day now, which is making me so happy. We're gonna go into this church because it looks like a church from the outside, but inside, I believe there's all like food stalls. So it's a church, but it's got all places you can eat. So this is a pokey bowl place as you walk in and there's all of these plants. And this is the main area. Like, look, it's still got the stained glass windows. It's so cool. And then over here, all different food kind of places you can eat. So it's got a dumpling place, there's also a pizza place. There's even a bar, so you can get a drink as well. And there's some people behind us eating pizza and pasta, and it looks so really nice. How cool was that in there? The pizza and the pasta looked incredible, but we're actually gonna go and have lunch at Knack. They do the most amazing cookie dessert, and they've just texted me to say that they have a table. So that's where we eat lunch.
food has arrived guys this salad tastes amazing it's kale with pine nuts sultanas then i've added prawns we've got halloumi fries he has gone for a beyond meat burger and some chips guys we are full but we had to get these cookies because they are incredible we've had them many times before but they're so good well as always nack was how many out of 10 for me 10 out of 10 10 10 10 10 it's always so good honestly the cookies unbelievable my salad nicest salad in the world loved it we're now going to selfridges we've been sat outside and we are so cold like freezing cold the sun's gone down now i always love the clothes in celine and this jacket guys i love it so much but it's so much money How cute are these little hair clips? Can you see them underneath the glass with the Celine logo? Love those. Perfume's so aesthetic. Balenciaga. Balenciaga wasn't already done. I'm sorry, but what are those? Like, just absolutely not. These really are my favourite heels in the world. Look at these ones. I mean, imagine them as wedding shoes. Wow. They also do the platform version now. I'm not sure how I feel about these though. I much prefer the other ones, but I bet they're more comfortable because they've got a bit of like a height on the heel, if that makes sense. They even do a boot version. I see this Gucci bag, I'm in love with it. And this one, I love this too. Like, I just love anything that sparkles. Do you like this bag? We just take a minute for how nice my mirror looks in the background sad about the smash corner but you can't actually see it and i'm still waiting for did i even show you what i've ordered for that table or to replace that table it's actually meant to arrive today let me show you it it was meant to arrive today but i've just checked the order update and it says it won't arrive until the 27th which is very annoying because half the reason i ordered it is because the delivery was going to be fast anyway this is what it looks like you're not really gonna be able to see from these pictures but it looks like this, it's like a wooden plinth. But that's annoying that it's gonna be over a week until it arrives. But in the meantime, this looks kind of cute. And this isn't gonna be like my usual setup. I'm not usually gonna have the rail there and things, but I am filming a spring outfits try on haul tomorrow. So it's kind of all set up ready for that. But I kind of left you guys abruptly yesterday, but we had the nicest day in central London. We kind of walked around the shops. We had the most beautiful food in Nack. I've said it before, but if you guys ever come to London or if you live in London, you must go to Nack. There are so many rubbish restaurants in London. I'm sure there's so many rubbish restaurants everywhere in the world. But there are also some amazing restaurants in London and Knack is one of the amazing ones. The food, the cookies, like it gets better every single time I eat there. So if you're ever around that kind of area in London, go because it's so good. Anyway, I did pick up a couple of bits that I wanted to show you guys. First of all, we went into Selfridges and I actually got a new foundation, which I have on today. I feel like I look kind of pale. Do I look pale? I already have this foundation. Like I've already bought it one time before but it's too dark for me. It's like my summer shade, but this time of year I don't have a tan and it just doesn't match properly. This is called the Hermes Clean Air. I mean, that was just probably horrific how I just said that, but let me just show you the box so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, this is quite a pricey foundation. I'm gonna actually tell you exactly how much it was. So, it was 65 pounds. However, I've had my other tube of this, which I've still got quite a lot left of it. I bought that in about August of last year. And I've probably still got just under half of it left. And I do really use it quite often. But as I said, I felt like the colour match was too dark for me right now. So I end up picking it up one shade down, which is shade 40. So I've already got shade 50. And this is such a nice lightweight foundation. I'd say coverage wise, it's in between a foundation and a tinted moisturiser. It feels like you are wearing nothing on your skin though. It's so lightweight. But it kind of gives you like a really nice natural glow. The only thing I would say is if you have oily skin... 
it will make you really oily. I have definitely combination skin, but towards the end of the day, my skin will get oilier. And by the end of the day, I definitely need to add a bit more powder when I'm wearing this, but I really, really love the finish it gives. And as I said, it's more lightweight than a really heavy foundation. So even though this is pricey, I really do rate this. And the way I found out about this is actually, there's a girl on Instagram, her name is Amazing, which is just the most amazing Instagram name, but her real name is Amy. And she has the most beautiful glass-like skin. She's just so stunning. And I saw her in real life and asked her what foundation she was wearing because it just looked so flawless, but also really light and natural. And she told me it was this. And then also my friend Alicia, she wears this as well. And I really feel like it's that perfect your skin, but better kind of foundation, if you know what I mean. And the other thing I picked up, oh, the lady actually gave me some testers from Hermes. That was cute of her. I never actually even smelt the Hermes um, perfumes before. Should we smell one? This is this one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Let's spray it. Whew, that is strong. I mean, that is really nice, but I feel like that's very manly. And then the next thing I picked up, I have already used it and I don't know where the packaging has gone, was this. This is Charlotte Tilbury and is one of their lip liners in the shade Iconic Nude. I've got it on today. I feel like it's not the right shade for me. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. I feel like it's too dark. I think I should have got the shade Pillow Talk. Last time I used Pillow Talk was absolutely years ago and I didn't really love kind of like the consistency of it or how it went on my lips. I felt it was too dry. But apparently since then they've changed the formula. But then I tried this, like the Iconic Nude, and I felt like this would be a better match to me. I like how it goes on. I really rate that, but I'm not really sure how it's looking on my lips. What do you think? And then the next thing I picked up, I didn't actually get these yesterday when I was shopping. I ordered these about three days ago. I'm going to show you guys. So we have a beautiful Prada carrier bag. And inside, if you watched my last haul, which, you know, stood over here doing my haul, I mentioned I wanted these shoes. And I ordered them. However, another thing I need your guys' opinion on. I do really like them, but I don't feel like I'm 100% sold. And I think that being the case, I probably should just send them back. However, I wanted to ask your guys' opinion because I feel like you are my friends and we have very similar taste and often if you don't like something, nor do I and vice versa. So, let me show you what's inside. So as always, we have the beautiful Prada tissue paper and then, one thing I would say about these, they're very comfortable. We have the, I don't even know what these are called. They actually might say it on the side of the box. Palazature Donna. I mean, that was just... Just terrible that was, really awful. But this is what they look like. They are basically like a cartoon character shoe. They're padded, they're real leather, they are so, so soft. You've obviously got the Prada logo on the front and then your foot slips into them. I mean, as I've already said, they are so comfortable. I got my regular size. The only thing I would say is I do wish I'd sized up at least half a size. I don't know if they come in half sizes, but I wish I'd got a four and a half instead of just a four. So I might just send them back anyway for that reason. But I thought these would look really cool. Either one with a pair of shorts or kind of long baggy denim jeans. And then I had this black jacket, which once again I thought would look really cool with it. I don't know though, I'm not sold on them. I just don't know if I love them enough to warrant the money that they cost. And I'm also trying to be really good at the moment. I know you're probably laughing at me, but I am trying to be good with money at the moment and I'm trying not to buy ridiculous things. But these were just something that was playing on my mind a lot. And I feel like they're quite classic because they're black, they're leather, and they've obviously got the classic Prada logo on the front. I felt like I would get a lot of use out of them. But do they look ridiculous? That's basically what I'm asking you guys. Do you think they look ridiculous? I'm not gonna be offended if you say they do because I can still send them back, but let me know your thoughts on these. And then the last thing I picked up was actually a perfume and it is from Jo Malone and it smells just so fresh and like spring. So I sprayed this when I was in Selfridges and it just gave me like all of the spring vibes and I'm really trying to get into a spring mood at the moment even though the weather is not given that, I'm choking on that. It's actually on my tongue. But even though the weather isn't really cooperating with spring, we can still get into a spring mood. And I just felt like this was the perfect spring fragrance. So this is Jo Malone Star Magnolia Cologne. I 
think I'm saying that correctly. And then look how cute the bottle is. It's got this really gorgeous pastel lid on it. I absolutely love Jo Malone fragrances. I recently got the poppy one as well. And years ago, something that takes me back to being really young, I always used to wear Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. That was my fragrance. I used to wear that all of the time. And actually something that my mum wears a lot, is it the sea salt one? The sea salt and I can't think, I can't think of what the whole fragrance is. Let me type it in. Sea salt, let's say Jo Malone. No, not table salt. That's it, wood sage and sea salt. My mum regularly wears that and it really reminds me of her. But I really love Jo Malone's fragrances. I love their diffusers, I love their candles. And this is such a nice one, which I feel like I'm gonna wear a lot in spring. But anyway, guys, I always say this about my vlogs, but I have no idea how long this is gonna be. It has definitely been spread over a number of days. I haven't even started editing it. Like I've not even looked at how much footage I have, but as always, I hope so much you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am actually vlogging again tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm doing like a whole spend the day with me. So it's not going to be a vlog kind of spread over a whole week or sometimes two weeks of my vlog. It's going to just be one day, which I'm really looking forward to filming because I've never really done anything like that before. It's going to be like my day from start to finish. And that should hopefully be up on Wednesday all being well and then I have a styling haul going up on Sunday as well I'm trying to get back on track with YouTube because I was really on a roll and then I really fell off so I'm trying to I'm trying to get back on track but as I was saying as always thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you don't already subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up follow me on Instagram and on TikTok I love you guys and I shall hopefully see you on Wednesday take care bye bye